Hey, what's up guys, Mr. Zed Gamer. welcome back to another tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get Sony Vegas Pro 14 for free. So the first thing what you guys are going to have to make sure, and this is very crucial, this is very important for this to work properly. You must make sure that you disable your antivirus. You must. This is very important because, and the reason, and the reason why I'm saying this is because if you don't disable it, usually what's going to happen is either Windows Defender or McAfee or Norton or whatever antivirus you are running will take the patch file, which is which is associated inside of this file inside of this folder that you're going to download, and it will and it will remove it. So when you get to the step of trying to patch Sony Vegas Pro 14. It is going to it's not going to be there the patch won't be there and you're going to be very confused and you're not going to understand why and the reason why like why does this patch get flagged as a virus like why does that happen it happens because it modifies the host files inside of the program which basically bypasses all those notifications that says like oh you got an unlicensed version you know license it now or you can't use this until you license it or or put in your serial number now something like that and that's why it gets flagged as a virus because it modifies modifies the, the files inside of the program and so it's very important that you guys disable your antivirus because that patch will will basically it won't be in that folder and and you won't and you won't be able to patch it and it won't work so it's very important that you guys disable your antivirus and you might be wondering well mr tech gamer how do you do that well, there's multiple ways. Uh, that first way is by going into the show hidden icons down here, going here, and there should be a uh, your icon should be up here. So for Norton or for McAfee, you could usually right click on it and then click on disable uh, antivirus protection for like 50 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour, or um, or for whenever, and do that. And that's one way. Another way is obviously by opening the program, going to settings, and from there. Uh, from Windows Defender, if you guys have it, you can always go to the search bar and just type in Windows Defender. It looks kind of like a shield. Click on that. I already have mine turned off for the purpose of this video, but you would go into settings and then make sure that you turn this real-time protection off. So without, so once it is turned off, you guys are good. That's very important, and I can guarantee you guys 100% that this is no virus, this is no Trojan, no worm nothing this is no malware nothing guys this is completely virus free i know some of you guys think it is because it's because your antivirus flags it it is not i can guarantee you guys that and you can switch on the virus you guys can scan it or whatever you want it's probably gonna you can scan it too it's probably gonna say it's a virus because it modifies files and all that but i can guarantee you guys 100 and trillion percent that it's not a virus i promise you guys and the next thing what you guys have to make sure is that you guys are running on any administrator account to check that just go to user accounts here and it should say this this isn't necessary but it sort of helps you know mitigate any error messages or anything you guys would get if you on a uh, just a regular account and guys without any further ado let's jump straight into this tutorial okay so the first thing what you guys are going to want to do is click the first link in the description will take you to mega you guys will see this here sony vegas pro 14.zip go ahead and click on download through your browser now keep in mind guys this is 424 megabytes so it might take a little bit to download and I'm basically going to be finished download pretty shortly but I will pause the video and I'll basically come right back as soon as it is done downloading. Alrighty guys so once it is done it should just say 99% and then it should just quickly within seconds download to your internet browser to your computer whatever. So now uh, if you guys are running Google Chrome or I mean, Mozilla Firefox or something like that you guys should have should just be right on your desktop so just basically click and drag if not you have to go into your downloads find it there and we can close that now so now we have the uh, basically we have the zip copy of the Vegas Pro 14 now we have to now extract it and you can use this with WinRAR which hopefully all of you guys have or 7-zip will work as well but basically just right click and click on extract to Sony Vegas Pro 14 click on that It'll extract to your desktop hopefully and we don't need this anymore now we got the extracted copy so go ahead and open that up and open this up now guys if this patch here if this sony vegas pro 14 patch.exe is not here you did something wrong mostly most likely you probably did not disable your antivirus correctly so if this is not here i repeat you probably did something wrong such as you did not disable your antivirus protect 
antivirus properly. If it is here, you guys are golden. So first thing what you guys are going to want to run is Sony Vegas Pro 14.0.0.161. Right click run as administrator if you want to. Again, it, that's basically really optional. And you got a choice of languages, so English, French, German, Spanish, choose whatever whatever you are. I'm also English. Uh, click on I have read. Make sure you probably go through that. Read that. Give that a quick read. Click on next. And it will ask you to install it on your C drive. I really recommend that you guys do it on your C drive, which is the drive in which your OS is installed on. Uh, mainly because you get a less chance of having any errors and, and it seems to run a little bit more smoothly uh, on that C drive. So keep it on your C drive. If you, don't ha if you don't have enough room on your C drive, then maybe put it to another hard drive. And I do want to create a shortcut, it makes it a little easier, and go ahead and click on install. Now the installation process is going to take a couple seconds depending on your hard drive, but for me it, it should just be relatively quickly as I have done this before. And I, I am also installing it on an SSD, so it should be a little bit faster. And it should you should get this saying Vegas Pro 14 has been fully installed and you are set. Now, since we have Vegas Pro installed, we it is not licensed yet. So do not actually open the program before it has been licensed. So in its raw copy right now, do not open it, patch it first. So now we got our Vegas Pro 14 patch in here. We're gonna right click run as administrator. And now, it, now you guys are gonna look at this and be like, what is this? This is all in Russian. I can't understand this. Basically, just follow follow what I'm doing. Click on this first button here. That it should maybe highlighted in blue. Click on this, and it's going to install. Now you guys are gonna get this error. You guys are gonna going to get this. I'm pretty sure 99.9% .9 of you will get it. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. But basically, it says C uh, program files x x86 Vegas shared plugins audio x64 McHammer whatever go ahead and click on ignore and then click this button here and close this i don't know what that error is associated with but now once it is done patching if you open up sony vegas pro 14 it should say at the top license to team vr at ukr.net and once you actually boot open once you actually boot sony vegas pro 14 you'll see that you got everything here you can go ahead and import stuff you can go ahead do whatever you guys want and this video is going to be made on this copy of sony vegas pro 14 so you guys can see it and it is excellent guys so that is the tutorial very simple i don't think it's painful at all very simple guys so if, if this did work for you don't forget to leave a thumbs up subscribe for future tutorials if this did not work for you and you got some error messages something happened along the way then leave a comment and i'll try to get I'll try to reply to you as soon as possible. And that's basically it. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I uh, will see you in my next video. Peace.